So we're at the BAE Systems site in Guildford in the UK. I'm here with Matt Benford. Matt, good to see you. Hi. Um, so um, we're getting to the point now where mobile operators um, have built out the, the first parts of their 5G networks. They're starting to roll out services. Um, but I guess, as usual, regulatory compliance is lagging a little bit uh, behind here. What's the BAE system's view on this? What do what mobile operators um, need to be thinking about in, in, in terms of their 5G strategies? So the, the rollout of 5G hasn't got to the stage where it's making people change their behaviours, uh, but it does promise greater speeds and greater connectivity. It's not the data volumes and the speed that's the challenge, it's the agility and the accessibility. So 5G is meant to be a dynamic environment where you can change and flex your environment for the demands of the users. That's going to be interesting when it comes to things like lawful intercept and data retention. Also, 5G is going to push the connected world uh, to another level. The, num the sheer number of connected devices is going to increase at a huge rate. Okay. So what do the communication service providers need to be thinking about sort of, you know, right now in terms of their regulatory compliance? I mean, what kind of decisions and active steps should they be taking? So my view is that the, they need to be thinking about this design up front. You don't want to leave compliance to the end. So planning is absolutely key. They should be looking at that network design, but not really just as it is now, what they want to achieve in the future from that network, how it's going to flex and what it needs to, what services it needs to offer. They also need to have a look at the standards. So in terms of 5G and, and network function virtualization, that's a lot of the changes in compliance that are coming through in the standards. It's a major upgrade. And the final thing is when you're looking at solutions for this, I would look at versatility. So you, want, you don't want your compliance solution to hold you back in the future. You need to be looking for something that's versatile and flexible to change. Okay. So for the mobile network operators, in, in, in terms of how they're thinking about the deployment of their regulatory compliance systems, do they need to be thinking about this in a different way for the 5G era to, to how they've thought about it in terms of 3G and 4G? So at the moment, most of the compliance solutions that they have will be physically separate from their, exist from their network. It's a decision point as they move towards a more dynamic, virtualized environment, whether they want to keep it physically separate and work out how that needs to evolve with their network or to embed it in their virtualized environment. From our point of view, we are enabling both options in terms of our solution. The idea is to be versatile as we move forward and give them that option as they choose their design. So the, the network equipment providers, they, they play a very pivotal role in the whole 5G ecosystem, providing a lot of um, uh, technology and services to the mobile network operators. How does BAE Systems um, you know, uh, partner or work with those kind of companies? So BAE Systems have been doing this for around about 25 years. So we've been through a lot of the journey along with these network equipment providers, building through their networks into 3G and 4G. So we've worked very closely with them on a number of projects. We work closely with them in terms of some of the standards forums that we attend together. And we also try and keep abreast of each other's roadmaps and understand what's, what's happening next. So it's really important that we continue to maintain our level of interoperability with these guys uh, so that we can give the best solutions to our customers. Okay. And, and how does BAE Systems keep its, its, its portfolio current and up to date with what the, the mobile operators uh, would need? Uh, how do you make your R&D and investment decisions? So our roadmap is influenced by market changes, but not just telecoms technology, also government legislative changes. So as policy evolves within regional governments, um, we have to react to that and make sure that our software and solutions meet that, but in the light of the telecoms changes as well. So BA Systems is very well positioned to do that with the work that we do in governments and in the commercial sector. So we are working very heavily in terms of virtualization and making sure that the capability meets that 
dynamic needs of telecoms going forwards, but also with the controls that you need for government type systems. So it's a very fine balance to sit there and, and make it work with that. Okay, excellent. Well, great to speak to you today, Matt. Thanks very much. Thank you.